Figure 27, Corita and Back Ocho with Hesitations. We're going to begin with the little Corita traveling around to the Ocho Cortado. And then we enter the Back Ochos with a hesitation. And we're going to continue with the Cross System Basic to the Cross and all the way to position 8. Let's show you the man's footwork. Start by facing diagonal wall. Start with the left foot free. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left foot saccata, forward. Saccata collect. Left foot side. Hesitation with the right. Three to five across system, all the way to the six, seven, eight. And this will bring us to the end of the phrase. We'll start now with the timing for the waltz. Once again, two phrases of tango music in waltz timing. We have one, two, one, 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 two, one. That being the leader's timing for this figure. And now the followers part. We begin with the corita. First, beginning with the cadencia into the corita, I should say, we have right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left foot crossing in front of the right foot. Right, left, right, and right for the hesitation and the cross system basic all the way to the eighth position. And now we'll say the timing, in waltz timing, of the follower's part. The follower has... One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, two, one. Let's talk about the technique. We'll start facing diagonal wall. With our cadencia, we want to bring our follower around us slightly outside of our position. So we'll show you here. So cadencia. Now here you can see she's outside. Outside of me. Not in line, but outside. So it's almost like we're just, she's going for a little, little fun, little walk. <laughs> a little run in the park. <laughs> so, so sometimes you do that, she can look like Tinkerbell. <laughs> and so one, it's, two. we call it Corita because it's a little bit of a run. Little run, bit of a centrifugal force there. And we stop with the ending of the Ocho Cortado. Yes, a technique I, that we use to create that is a little bit of, let's see. If we can do a close up here of the embrace here, I'm, I'm creating a little lift here, right here. It's a little up energy that puts her more on her toes so she can do smaller steps. And then I release her to go into the cortado. The um, up energy also helps me, as George said, to stay up on my toes. So the weight is up on my toes and not on my heels. If I do the run walking forward using my heels, it'll be a little cloppy, you know, just kind of putting too much weight on the foot and it's not very fast either. So I have to do this rather fast, especially with the waltz. I have to walk and run, little runs with George. The more turn we can get from this corrida, the more enjoyable it gets because we can create a nice turn for the saccata that follows. So we have one, two, one, one, two, one, etc. We go to the cortado, and here, if we have enough turn, we can create a saccata with the left. And here we open, and we can do our hesitations. So let's do that again. So let's see how far we can turn. And this puts us in a great position for stepping out, almost a sidestep for me with the cicada from the leader to the back ocho with the hesitation. And then we continue to the cross and all the way to the eighth position of the cross position, or yes, the cross system basic, I should say.